Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with uh, Pisces. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is linked down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you will always get an email notification if or when I ever open up my availability again, we shall see. And um, if you guys want to, you can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I just post more things on quantum physics, really crazy things that I play around with alchemically over there. So if you guys want to jump over, feel free. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Wow, this is so crazy. I have been thinking about this card nonstop and I am going to talk about it. So Pisces. Okay. Okay. Wow, I'm so like, I know this is not like the happiest card to get, but I'm actually really excited to talk about it. So here's what I'm seeing here. I feel as though this could, this is like, I think a person in your life. All right. I don't know when you've dealt with them. I have no idea. You might come up with them again. They might be coming around. I have no idea who this person is in your life, but we have the miser. Okay, and this is a really fascinating archetype because it's a person who kind of hoards because there's like this specific vibration where th there's definitely a fear at the foundation and maybe even disappointment with life. And so like something about a particular person's energy just got blocked up and they've been accumulating and accumulating since one experience and they don't move on. Like they might do some really crazy extreme things to like save a dime. Do you know what I mean? Like they hold on to so much and that can be a person here that's hoarding. And I wonder if like, you always wanna be cautious about your entanglements because if you stay too connected to this person, like there's a person here that could be holding wealth or inheritance and is only willing to give out so much. But I see something about you enjoying your life, okay? It could be too that this energy is slowing you down quite a bit. I don't know if you've, you've kind of like picked up some things, you know, you're kind of like, cause here's what I think is happening. In the energy in general, there are like spurts of movement and motion and then anything like the eclipse is going to do that. It's going to like pull you into movement. And if there's anything maybe even of a material nature that is slowing you down, that's why the energy is slowing down. Because it may be something that you're holding on to and it's kind of like getting in the way of your movement. It's legit slowing you down. That's the only reason, because I will tell you guys for sure, with these energies, most people would be moving, okay? It is a moving energy time, okay? So let me see what else. Yeah, I have been thinking about that miser card so much, so it's like super crazy that it popped out for you guys. Wow, see? I cannot make this up. Wow. See what I said? I am not making this up. The Eight of Wands is like fast movement. And it feels like there's spurts of that that keep coming in. It could be, this can be about travel or online messages are coming in. This for some of you guys is like truth. There could be a decision being made about something. But wow, like there's something here. It's either a person or a physical item that's literally like slowing you down or like you're carrying the weight of something right now, either emotional or physical. That's the only reason there's an energy slowing down right now. Cause look how fast this is. It feels like to me that you're coming into a higher energy and 
But look what you're moving into. Wow, that, how appropriate. This is so crazy. I feel as though you guys might go through this time, because look at this. <sighs> Very interesting card. So you have the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. <laughs> we always have to be specific about that. So... I also think that here's your 10, okay? So here's the completion. Might have been some betrayal, Pisces, that you felt from this person. This person could have held something of value that would have really helped you along. They have not, they've held back. This is a miserable person. They're the miser. And you are, I, f I wonder if you're kind of flipping back and forth on perspective. Something could have come in recently and now you're like really looking at this human differently. I don't know. Because justice is kind of coming in here. And the way that I see this, Pisces, is that you've... It, this person actually set you up for justice. Everything that they were kind of holding back, which could have been your abundance or your blessings of some sort, it feels like to me that it, in some way, it's kind of like kept you behind. I don't know. It's somehow halted your or slowed your energy. But look how fascinating it is. It's like there are messages that are coming in all about forward movement and growth. And I do feel like if you don't move beyond this, because look, the Nine of Wands also is like feeling burnt out or like carrying something. There's the Knight of Cups. Okay, let me pull all the freaking cards. We've got to get into this. That feels like to me it's you. There's the Ten of Swords again. Look at that. So very interesting because I love that this card is coming out. Could be that recently you've been experiencing your heart opening back up. And I feel as though the way that you're coming across, interesting, that is like you're now in this forward movement place. The Ten of Swords is always like the final onslaught, something that came in and was like, boom, you know? But now you're actually in a, like you're elevating Pisces. You're in this star energy. And I'm kind of getting, if you were to follow your energy toward this particular person, I think that you'd see that, see, I am gonna put it in this order. We have the nine of swords and the 10 of swords, see? So there's that final onslaught telling you like, that is not the direction to go in. It was, it was a particular person holding back. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Let's see. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups. This is a really interesting combo and I'm gonna tell you guys what I get from that. We have the Eight of Pentacles in your mind. Okay. One, one last card for the outcome, or two. Hello, hello, darlings. Holy shiz in the freaking crap. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles at the end. Okay, I love this outcome. All right, I wish I had said this up differently. Because how should I? I'm very particular about my outcome card showing. All right, can you see it? Kinda, kinda. All right, here we go. Here's, here's what I was picking up on, Pisces. Yeah, two of wands. It feels like something kind of died out. At one time, you had passion for a particular thing. It's gone. Um, and I feel like the reason why is because, like, you could have felt betrayed by a particular person. There was a person that was like hoarding something, didn't want to give any to you, 
all that type of situation, you've got two Ten of Swords. And this is kind of like boom, boom. You know, it could even be two separate situations that are coming to an end. It, it, it Maybe it's like two separate people or two things that you were like involved in in some way, whatever that means. So here's what I can see happening. Pisces, very fascinatingly, there could have been something here about people in competition with you, with that five of wands. I feel like you didn't know it, or I mean, I think you know it to a certain extent, but I can see here that there's this thing that didn't turn out, but like what's happening here is you're actually on the outside of this now. There's tons of drama in some kind of situation, but it's showing me that you're not involved in it because maybe you were realizing like this, you could have gone into this situation thinking that this was going to be different, you know, that there was going to be all this like love and camaraderie and people working together. It didn't end up being that way. It actually ended up being something similar to your past, things that you you know our old patterns that you're trying to like move toward different situations but interestingly this five of wands it might have got you moving in a particular direction because there's this forward movement here this looks pretty good because i can see the slow and steady movement that you've got the turtle plus the knight of pentacles like slow and steady wins the race you're like on a different timeline pisces so there could be other energies like over here fighting for some kind of like um, position or like a reward or something like that. You might be kind of on the outskirts of it. You're not in it. You're look at you like kind of like over here. It feels like to me figuring out, you know, figuring out the path paying attention to your emotions. You're, it's like sometimes you catch on to this emotional wave with the Knight of Cups. Occasionally you catch it and then there's like a particular thing. It's like whatever this thing is, it keeps coming up and I feel like you're going to put an end to this because it's like your perspective is still trying to grasp hold of a particular person, Pisces, because you could have had a particular person. I keep saying particular, but you, you were like, you've just been used to them and you're so accepting and kind of like you get along with everyone. I literally don't know a Pisces that's like not chill with everyone. There might be a, an occasional personality type that you're like giving them the bird. But you know, <laughs> that's that's not to say that that doesn't exist within you. But yeah, this is progressional. I feel as though something is lighting up within you. And it's very exciting right now. Something over here won't work out the way that you were expecting. It really is a blessing in disguise. This was crazy. <laughs> okay. This is weird. And it's interesting that it came in with all this wands energy. It feels like there was a lot of action, movement, passion, and um, everyone like vying for this thing. And there's this energy that's like holding a lot of wealth or something. And to be quite honest with you, Pisces, if it didn't work out, I am telling you, you have some type of guardian or a bodyguard. I don't know, like a spiritual bodyguard that's literally like, no, because this might actually like really mess with your nervous system. Do you know what I mean? And Because you're in this progressional state where you're healing yourself internally and making this progress. Anything that's lower vibrational than that, you're literally being repelled from because it's like, no, ten of swords, ten of swords. There is actually betrayal that I feel like is going on behind the scenes. And it's like, it might, you might get the truth at some time with the hanged man and the justice but do know that this whole thing this energy that was slowing you down the whole time <laughs> behind the scenes there's been this justice that's been working on your side and it's like you might see that i just have to tell you too there's this energy here like this king of pentacles and the ten of cups um that could be an opportunity. Some of you guys, it could be an actual person, like 
long-term happiness but it feels like to me if this is just personal goals some of you guys it could be a relationship i just have to say it because the ten of cups is usually a couple like two people coming together um so it's either a person with like a business thing because king of pentacles is always like an investor owns business i just have to say it ten of cups could be like there's a person here i don't know you know maybe this could be your person like long-term happiness i'm hesitant to say that but they might come like they might come out in some way here is the first signs of it you and a particular person been working very hard on financial goals because i can see there's a lot of determination to get ahead or to make progress in a material way and it might actually bring you two together this person there's a person here that's preparing to like maybe be at the place that you are pisces if you're like financially doing well or something like that there's an energy that's trying to like catch up with you or be at the same place that you are because there's that or vice versa it could be that you're trying to kind of like there's a energy that's like further ahead than the king of pentacles and you might be moving toward that energy to and it's like there's a good combo there because it feels very stable plus you feel very emotionally safe and secure it feels really good to be honest so let me dive into the extended let me see whatever whatever else is going to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link i'll see it over there but pisces if this is where we leave things i'm sending you so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care